So Jet Starfish has become one of the most hated Minecraft YouTubers of all time, it would seem. And when anyone is this disliked, it's only natural to ask why. Usually, to warrant being so widely hated, someone has to do something really bad. So, in this video, let's answer the question. Does Jet Starfish deserve all the hate, or are people just getting too worked up and exaggerating? The answer is an interesting one, that's for sure. So, we're gonna start with a clip of the most popular video criticizing Jet Starfish, and this is by a YouTuber named The Haze. I responded to one of his older videos, and that one was bad too, but it was nowhere near as terrible as this. It's frustrating because I know he saw my last video. He left this lovely comment on it, and yet my efforts have clearly gone to waste because he just created this pile of shit. He's gone from missing the point of some features to actively lying to trick you out of your money. And you know what's happened because of it? His video gained almost 1 million views in just 10 days. He's gotten 50,000 subscribers and his Patreon money has fucking quadrupled. So to summarize, Jet Starfish transparently lied about the game in an attempt to make it more appealing for you to illegally buy a tiny and completely outclassed mod from him for $8. Is this kind of content healthy for the Minecraft community? Is this how we go about giving criticism now? Have we really de-evolved to this? It honestly just makes me sad to see that someone can be so mean and cruel and get cheered on for it. Calling someone's video a pile of feces. Now, ignoring the general rudeness, there are some pretty heavy accusations thrown out here. I chose this clip because it generally represents the response towards Jet Starfish's video, at least fairly accurately, I would say. And for those of you wondering why Hayes is so upset and thinks that this is a scam, it's because Jet Starfish didn't talk for long enough about an enchantment book. We'll get into that in a bit. So the commonly shared theory is that Jet Starfish was manipulating information and omitting important facts to try and make his model look more appealing. The primary evidence that people will use for this is him not talking about Swift Sneak when talking about the rewards of the ancient city. But here's the thing that's kind of weird. Hayes goes through the entire ancient city section of Jet Starfish's video and goes on about how he's hiding the existence of Swift Sneak. But there is one specific part of the ancient city section that Hayes just happens to skip over. And that is the part where Jet Starfish actually does mention Swift Sneak. That is really suspicious. It looks like Hayes might have done the exact same thing that they were accusing Jet Starfish of doing, omitting information to further their point. Now, with that being said, the mention that Swift Sneak gets is only just like a passing mention. Jet Starfish doesn't talk about Swift Sneak when he's going over the incentives to go to an ancient city. Which is weird, because Swift Sneak is, of course, one of, if not the main reason, that people go to an ancient city. So, either he did just intentionally leave it out to try and make his mod look better, or maybe he thought it just wasn't important. Although he does also mention books as a reward, and I guess you could look at it from an organizational standpoint of books including enchanted books with Swift Sneak on them. But he definitely should have discussed it more in depth when talking about the ancient city incentives. And it does make his video mildly suspicious, but is it enough to say that the entire video is an ad that's lying to you to sell a mod? No, not really. The second piece of evidence is that when Jet is talking about the different ore generations in different biomes and adding more biomes with unique ore generations, he doesn't mention dripstone caves having more copper in them. But this piece of evidence is kind of easily debunkable because he was seemingly only talking about surface biomes anyway, from what I can gather at least. And also, I wouldn't blame him if he forgot about Dripstone Caves having more copper, because I didn't know that until this whole drama situation started. So, is Jet Line to sell the mod? Maybe a little bit in the ancient city, but not much. Although, omitting some information isn't actually lying, it's just leaving some details out. The other big point of criticism is that the mod is just bad. Honestly, the mod is kind of mixed. There are some changes in it that I really like, and there are some that aren't good. I think the copper and powered rail changes that Jet made were great. I also really liked the unique ore distribution. 
but walking the ancient city map behind the Ender Dragon, the horse stamina, and making Elytra ships four times rarer weren't good changes. Especially when he nerfed horses but didn't nerf the Elytra at all themselves. Although Jet said that the Elytra ships being four times rarer was only a temporary solution, but we haven't received any follow-up. And I wouldn't blame him if he just abandoned development of the mod because of all of the controversy around it, honestly. And now we need to talk about another important thing, the legality of Jet Starfish's mod. There was a lot of misinformation going around about Jet Starfish's exploration video, a lot of it coming from Hayes' video, like him not mentioning Swift Sneak or the mod being illegal. Hayes goes on with a very bold claim that Jet Starfish is a criminal and committing a crime, but is that really true? Spoiler alert, it's not. See, Mojang hasn't had any problem with people releasing early access versions of their mods on Patreons. It's a kind of legal gray area in the EULA because technically they're not selling the mod, and it's also technically just a reward that comes with the Patreon. Although if you intend to leave a paid one up there for the foreseeable future, then Mojang might come after you like they did with the creator of the Physics Mod and Physics Mod Pro. But if it's just early access like Jet Starfish's was, then it's fine. And also, even if Mojang did have a sudden change of policy, the worst that would happen would be they send a cease and desist. No one's going to jail over a Minecraft mod. Hayes also mentions something of Jet Starfish trying to trick you into illegally buying his mod. It's not illegal to join the Patreon, especially because it's not technically illegal for Jet Starfish to put the mod on a Patreon. Now, most importantly, I think here, we need to talk about the attitudes of Hayes and Jet Starfish. Jet Starfish in his video is kind of mean to Mojang at sometimes. He also uses a lot of edgy humor, and there are some questionable jokes and phrases. He uses a sort of comedy that not everyone likes. That being said, I think Hayes was actually worse. Hayes in their video is just really pretentious and rude and snarky also drops a totally unnecessary amount of swears and f-bombs that do not contribute to the argument whatsoever, and their amount of unnecessary swearing makes it look like they were just kind of angry in the heat of the moment and their judgment was clouded. At least to me, it definitely looked like they were getting frustrated. But to call someone's video a pile of feces like we saw earlier, it, it, how can you say that? Like. Jet Starfish's video wasn't good, but I wouldn't say it was horrible either. There were some good changes in the mod, and there were some bad ones. It's not black and white. But the irksome thing to me about Hayes' video is that they repeatedly call Jet Starfish's exploration video just an ad for his mod. I want to try and put a new perspective into this here. Imagine you spend several months on a video essay like Jet Starfish did and make a mod for it too, and then when you release it because you wouldn't talk about one enchantment enough, people say the entire video was an ad. I would be pretty damn offended. In fact, I would probably be like emotionally hurt, but I'm just a sensitive person, so don't get me wrong, Jet Starfish should not have put the mod behind a paywall. But just because he did, and just because he didn't talk a lot about Swift Sneak, doesn't make the entire video an ad. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, but we don't have enough evidence to know for certain. But Hayes states speculation as fact, that the video is an ad and that Jet Starfish is a criminal, when in reality that's just speculation. And honestly, with as much evidence as there is, if you see the video, the entire thing as an ad, I can't help but feel like that's looking for the worst in it. For example, in my progression video, I made a mistake where I thought the Ender Dragon Egg was needed to respawn the Ender Dragon. It was a dumb mistake, but it was an honest one. And then I had people just assuming that I was intentionally trying to deceive them to prove my point. It's pretty common now on the internet for people to just assume the worst of everything. To wrap things up, looking at everything laid out in this video, it's hard to say really if Jet Starfish's video was any worse than Hayes's. 
Starfish makes a few mistakes, but Hayes' video being much longer, they also make a lot of mistakes, and also just do a lot of nitpicking. Both of them might have intentionally omitted information to prove their point. One of them falsely states that the other is a criminal and is also just very rude and pretentious, and the other one locks a mod behind a paywall. Personally, I would say with my moral standards that Hayes may be in the more wrong there, but it's really up for anyone to decide. Although do keep in mind that Just Starfish did also later make the mod free and offer a refund to anyone who got the Patreon membership for it, leaving not nearly as much room to be mad at him. Yet people still are, but he made up for his mistake, and I think it's just time to let go now. <laughs> Just let go of the hate. He did something bad, we all do bad things, but he made up for it. He might have deserved some backlash at the time, but now he doesn't really deserve all that much hate. Especially taking into account the fact that many of the videos criticizing Jet Starfish are deeply flawed, just like Jet Starfish's video was. There was tons of misinformation, especially about the legal stuff, so... Don't just take a YouTuber's word for everything. Do your own research, I encourage you. And don't let yourself be swept up in all of these toxic exaggerations in the modern day Minecraft community. It's of course much better for a YouTube video to exaggerate things, saying stuff like someone is a criminal and that they're trying to scam you. That will make a video get a lot more views, but it might not be the best for the community and it also might not be the closest to the truth. That is my best advice to end off this video. I look forward to doing more measured responses like this one in the future, because it's the best thing I can do for the community, I suppose. So I hope to see you in the next one, whatever it may be. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.